The KQL Mysteries, Chapter 10, The Shadow's Gambit The morning sun barely pierced the thick clouds as John and Jordan convened in their respective dimly lit conference rooms over Microsoft Teams. The air was tense, charged with a mix of determination and the weight of uncertainty. John laid out the blueprints of their network on the Microsoft Teams whiteboard. We need to fortify our defenses. The Night Princess won't stop until she gets what she wants, and we can't let that happen. Jordan nodded, her eyes scanning the schematics. I've been thinking all night. What if we use her tactics against her? Set up a mirror network, a shadow of our own system. We bait her with what seems like valuable data, but it's actually a trap. John's eyes lit up. A decoy operation. I like it. But it has to be convincing. She's not easily fooled. They spent hours planning, coding, and setting up the shadow network. It was a masterpiece of digital deception, designed to mimic their real system's responses and behaviors. As night fell, they activated the network. Now, it was a waiting game. Jordan couldn't shake off the feeling of being watched, even in the safety of their headquarters. She kept glancing at the monitors, watching for the slightest sign of intrusion. Then, it happened. An alert signaled an access attempt on server alpha. The shadow network was doing its job. John and Jordan both rushed to their respective consoles, their hearts racing. They watched as the intruder navigated through the decoy data, taking the bait. Initiate the trace, Jordan whispered, her fingers flying over the keyboard. The trace was a complex web of digital breadcrumbs, leading the night princess on a wild goose chase while they backtracked her steps. Hours passed, and the trace led them to a series of proxes, each one more intricate than the last. But Jordan was relentless, her skills honed by years of chasing shadows. As dawn approached, they finally broke through the last proxy. The real IP address was revealed, and it was not what they expected. It was local, very local. John and Jordan exchanged a look of disbelief. The Night Princess was closer than they ever imagined. It was time to confront the ghost of Krampus' past, face to face. Stay tuned for Chapter 11, 